Android 12 Beta 5 or as Google have announced this is the Android 12 release candidate and guys believe me or not but this is gonna be the final beta hopefully the final beta before we receive the real thing and one might ask how much of this is the real thing I would say 90% all right welcome to the channel VST here at SPS Tech if you're new to the channel please check some of the other videos that I do I do a lot of mobile photography reviews I do a lot of benchmarks a lot of software reviews phone reviews so if you are in for content like that then you are more than welcome to subscribe for the channel which by the way is um, greatly appreciated but now back to the video so we're finally here yesterday Google pushed the Android 12 beta 5 and you can just see here the version it is the SPB5 and now this is considered as a release candidate we probably might get a 5.1 with some bug fixers and yeah, filling some of the missing features which I'm going to show you guys in this video but as I said in the introduction this is going to be 90% the real thing and I'm going to guide you in this video through all the new changes that I see compared to all the previous betas that we've seen and you can check all my previous video for the beta 1, 2, 3, 4 here on those links on the right top corner but the very first thing which is brand new and I think it's very 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 obvious is you know often people say you don't see really things that are in front of your eyes and I think that's very true finally guys we have the new Android 12 widgets and this is really exciting all right so I'm just going to remove this one and just show you guys I've been waiting for this I've been installing some third-party software to try to get this and you know ruling your phone and getting it via some models but hey this now is the real thing so the first thing I'm gonna introduce to you is the new Android 12 clock widgets so hit here widgets we're gonna go here in the clock and you see we have four clock widgets so let's start with the analog one the first one is the analog one right you just put it here on your home screen you can of course also adjust the size you can make it really really very big and of course they are aligned with the new material design which means that if I were to be changing my wallpaper on my phone the color will change the analog clock style features also the second surrounding uh, it's not my thing but if you are you know digging it that's for you the next one to be seen here is the new digital right which is a digital 2x2 so it's a rather small widget like a pill formed pill shaped and you can see here we have the date and we have also the time this one is more adjusted to my needs and I think it kind of gives a lot of the philosophy behind the design from Android 12 so it's you can see and you can tell it's very very round right this one here is the stack one okay and it pretty much looks like the digital one but okay it's just vertical pretty much represents the same information so you have here the date and you have the clock and that's totally not my thing okay let's check the last one the last one is the world one let me show what they meant by this so when you add this here guys you're gonna get the home watch right but as you are to travel in another country you're gonna get here also their local time and I think you can get up to like four countries there right this one actually is quite good because you know it's not so round but a lot of people really will go with the first one the first one the unlock one that's really very much recognizable and speaking about the time I want to draw your attention to something that kind of is missing you can see here on my top left corner I have the edit glance widgets and I have the same information right I have the date and yeah I don't have the time right and I also don't have the weather and I'm thinking that Google are planning something because when you just go here and try to customize at a glance which right now is on uh, yeah you can see it's not 100% ready I tried to go also to a dark team but nothing here really is visible so at a glance seems to kind of not have all the features that you have before but hey see here right now you know you can have access to your stopwatch let me just put my stopwatch running I'm gonna go back all right and see and I think actually that's a very neat addition right the edit lens watch right now will also report information from your stopwatch and etc and that's very nice speaking of very nice we also have a redesigned clock application I think this is the version 7 well it became a bit more round as you can see here the icons down below are a bit bigger than what we used to have in all the previous betas and look at this a very very fancy animation so I'm just show the alarm one clock one the timer one stopwatch one 
and the bedtime one, right? And I can go into more details, but I don't want to because a lot of these little details have been redesigned, like the collapse menu, like the vibrate icon. It all comes down as really a brand new UI. And I have to tell you that Android 12 probably is one of the most exciting Android releases ever. So I'm not gonna cover all the nitty gritty changes, but there are a lot of changes, right? Like all the collapse icons and the way all the menus looks, it's redesigned, guys. This is the new clock application with the new material you design. But Google didn't stop there, you know, only redesigning the clock application. They also redesigned the calculator one. And let me just show you guys, when you go inside and when you try to search for the calculator, calculator right you open the calculator boom right you right now have again raw menus here very big numbers right this pretty much resembles the pin screen at the beginning when you reboot your phone and of course it's all aligned very nicely to this material you design which means when you change the wallpaper yeah you know the story i've covered this many many other times but something i wanted to show you while doing this search now finally and for the first time in android 12 we have access to the new universal search and for applications that's quite easy right? let me just show you guys something i think is very exciting let me try to start typing volume right you see what happens here i have the option to directly adjust the volume directly from the search and that's not a joke guys you see it absolutely is linked right and you have several options for this new universal search when you hit here the three points you go into preferences you can also have contacts and conversations to appear there right and you can also choose to always hide the keyboard right so right now let me just go back into my home screen i go inside right now keyboard now with the keyboard on i go inside boom every time i have the keyboard and because i've enabled the contacts let me show you something guys you start typing something boom you have the contact name you can go inside the content, you can change an SMS, you know, initiate a conversation. It is a very, very nice thing. But what really stunned me is the system integration. So if you are to type brightness, right, see, use adaptive brightness on and off, and you can directly get all the settings. But the one for the volume, I think it's really mind blowing. This integration, this universal search, this integration is really stunning and the things that you can do. The next thing I want to show you guys is the always on the display. This is how it looks like and you can see the weather information is missing, but there is this gap and I really hope that Google are going to bring back the weather information on the always on display. This is the notification, this is how they look like. Let me just show the animation when you go from the OS on to the lock screen okay it all very smooth feels like really one and same design see here time gets bold not so bold okay bold again right when you go back into your lock screen you can also see the running timer okay when we are back on the OS on display and you click here on the notification icons uh, you'll actually trigger the lock screen from here you can just see what you usually get to see it's actually a quite nice addition Okay, taking the phone in my hand, okay, entering with my finger. Okay, let me just go back in the clock, all right? I will now resume the stopwatch, okay? And you can just see the stopwatch information is seen here. I'm gonna go back in to the always on display, and yeah, that's quite nice, guys. Stopwatch information is seen here. When you enter on the lock screen, same, right? And then, of course, you go inside your phone and the information still will be here. All right, we are back on the home screen. I have changed the wallpaper to just show you guys how very elegantly everything changes. So here we have the new analog clock widgets. Okay, I'm gonna click here. We're gonna enter here inside the new clock application, see all the colors change already, the animations even. Um, yeah, honestly, that's beautiful. And now I am to open the calculator, guys, to just show you what happens. Calculator, boom. You immediately can see how it adapts really the new color. And of course, also the keyboard, guys. Pay attention, when you start to type something, keyboard it also changed because there is a new theme that is based on the material you design and guys because Google are Google they also upgraded the Eastern egg information let me just show you how you can access this so we need to go inside your settings scroll down click about phone okay just go here to Android version 12 one more time Click several times until you'll get this clock displayed right you can play around but what is important when you go back to 12 o'clock boom all right 12 o'clock not yet here <laughs> you have the Eastern Egg updated and this looks quite fancy, right? But you know, the best thing with this is by doing this, you're going to also get an access to a new widget, okay? And this is the so-called Android as Easter Egg widget 
Okay, and um, these paint chips, it's called paint chips, put it there. So I have it on the screen and it just gets very impressive when you click it, boom, you get here all the color palette information, right? And yeah, okay, it's just a nice touch. But you know, you can just copy this color and even try to send it. Also, nearby has been updated. Now it has, again, all the round things from the previous versions. When you turn it on, it does have a bit of visual changes with it. I'm not going to cover right now because I don't think that they're really essential. But Android 12 Beta 5 does look a bit really like the real thing. Now, of course, I showed you at a glance functionalities are still missing they still are going to need to improve this or that but overall it looks very polished it's very very stable and guys i'm running this on my pixel 3 xl which is a device from the year 2080 and you can just see you know not a problem at all i have my kid running fortnite i have my kid running brawl stars and it does really work very very nicely so it's kind of almost like a flawless experience with a phone from 2018 and I think this is really what makes Google strong and specifically Android 12 they are gonna push this out also to all the devices and yeah we don't know really a lot of companies in the tech industry that do so besides Apple I think nowadays also Samsung and etc right so guys I've been really very excited to share this video with you if you happen to like this video you know by mistake or you just like it yeah you can subscribe to the channel please you and your families guys stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos and with that said VST over and bye